breech. My legs weren't even in their hip sockets, so I had to wear braces on my legs until I was well into my eight, nine year old age. And kids are so cruel. So I was picked on so bad that my confidence levels were none. And uh, not having a mother on top of be going through that was really, really, it just, I didn't realize just how much it affected me. We lived all over the South with my dad and my stepmom, which was another horrible situation. Um, in my 13 to 15 age, uh, I spent time in the psychiatric hospital in a group home because of all of the issues that I had, emotional issues and not really having anyone to understand me. And that's why I, I clung so much to my own children was because I didn't want them to feel what I felt as a child. Once the kids got grown, I just, I'd lost hope and started using to try to, try to make myself feel some type of normal. I actually wound up getting a DUI, wound up in jail. My sister reached out on Facebook to some friends and, and so he was linked through my sister's Facebook and mine and uh, he connected us to you. And Miss Lori, uh, the director, she has, uh, she had told me, she said, I have never had God tell me to, to keep my distance and it was only because he was already in the middle. And, and I, at first I was like, you know, well, you know, I need to talk about some of the stuff that's in me, but then, no, I needed to talk to my father about it. And she directed me to him and that, that just opened up my eyes to see. I had to get on my knees and God showed me how far he's carried me, that I am not a victim, I am victorious because he has protected me all this time or I wouldn't be here.